Hello guys, and welcome back to Mountain Blade Warband, Prophecy of Pandor. That uh, feels a bit strange to say, because it has been literally a month um, after I uploaded the last, as of this point in time obviously, set. And some people have been wondering, are you still going to do it? Well, yes. Uh, as I've always said between sets, you know, I, there's just a lot that, you know, a lot of hours go into it. Uh, I, I don't, I, you know, I, I've, I think I've said the same thing before. I feel like I'm repeating myself at least, but maybe it was to people directly. But I, I'm only recording like a fraction of what I'm actually doing, so, um, yeah. Why points, Rook? I have no clue. Probably because all the Ravenstorm Lords are here. Except me. So, I, I believe I left the last set uh, basically at war with everyone. Uh, right after that set, you know, every faction was like, Hey, let's go for peace. I was like, well, great. Um, yeah, that's not really working out for me. So, uh, there was a really lengthy peace period and... Uh, well, that kind of sucks for me, but, uh, you know, I did my usual recruiting, and uh, then I got back into war with Empire, or the Empire stayed at war for a while, but uh, all this remains unchanged. All this remains unchanged. Still have Miss Meyer, barely. Um, I'm currently at war only with Sarleon. And uh, Sarleon has these same positions around here. Um, they've actually taken this, I think, from the Empire. Um, and I own these. Because the Empire invaded them. And I basically went, well, fuck you, I'm taking that. So, yeah. Feared Vein have just been cowering, they've done nothing at all. Um, Empire's not really been doing much either, to be honest. Um, so yeah, uh, at war with Sorleon currently, and they have been uh, sieging Miss Meyer Castle for... Well, they, they did it twice, and actually, uh, do you remember that uh, giant group of uh, three seers, that, arm, that army of like 1700? Um... It actually saved my ass, because uh, I could not defend Mistmire, because uh, there were no Ravenstone Lords. I, seriously, I've not seen a Ravenstone Lord in a couple of hours' playtime. So they must all just be sitting in fucking Pointsbrook and Rain, just sucking their thumb, doing nothing. And it is really, really, really frustrating. Um, moving on from that, though... Um, some people have been like, well, are you going to, you know, see this uh, conquest all the way through? Well, you know, this is claiming this has taken me 200 hours, uh, roughly. Um, so I'm thinking not. Uh, I kind of just always wanted to show the mod off as in, you know, this is a really cool mod. There's a lot of cool stuff that it can, that you can do and um, currently I actually want to do two things one has always been the Noldor there's uh, always been some stuff there uh, there's the guy in Laria which uh, currently is a problem because I'm at war with them but um, yeah there's the guy there and I believe I have a 15 relationship with the Noldor faction which now I think would let me uh, do get a quest for him. Now I'm not sure if I need a dragon's tear uh, for you know being able to accept that quest. I think I do. And if that's the case, I'm fucked because that's gonna. Well, I've only found one by random chance, so that's that. Yeah, that would suck. Um, if not, though, that's gonna be really cool because I can finally show or you know experience what uh, what they have there um, there's some cool stuff there's there's one thing I'm very curious about but uh, the other thing is to actually branch out into my own faction and uh, 
the you know faction of Eterna or something, and basically, uh, you know, my king loves me, absolutely loves me. He he's just giving me all everything I conquer, or you know, if, if by some miracle some other lord conquers. Um, so the issue being that to create your own faction while keeping all your fiefs, all your castles, or your cities. Uh, you basically have to... Um, what's the proper wording? Basically, just keep demanding castles that you conquer. And your king should just not be giving them to you anymore. And if he refuses uh, your demand for that fief, uh, you can apparently say, No, screw you, it is mine. And forcibly take it. Then... If you have a decent enough relationship, which I would have, uh, you can just tell him, Hey, dude, I'm starting my own faction. We cool. And he would be. Um, so that's the preferred method, I guess. Uh, there was another method, but... I am not sure what it was now. I can't actually remember, but it was a lot more hassle, I think, somehow. So... Yeah, the other way is basically, uh, yeah, I just remembered, I think it's to cause a lot of controversy. Uh, which is to say that you gotta do stuff that, uh, you know, lords of that faction would not want to be associated with. So I've also been doing that, I think. Because I've been attacking a neutral faction of ours, which is the, uh, the Deshar Principalities. And I've captured like three four lords here's uh, what I currently have uh, I'm badly beaten up because well you know took out three lords and uh, a whole bunch of mercenaries armies as well because uh, I was just fighting the uh, the Sarleon dudes as well so um, yeah this is basically like just elite troops pretty much and some randoms I just picked up um, Gear-wise, I found this Mulder horse, and uh, it was like 12,000, which is nothing. Um, it's pretty nimble. It's pretty nimble. It's not bad. I do miss the armor on it, though, or the lack of armor. Um, so yeah, I've been attacking the uh, the Shar Principality Lords, and uh, I'm, I'm guessing Ravenstern is not going to be pleased with my actions. So I, I'm thinking that's good. And also, I've been attacking Singal. Um, which was kind of interesting. Kind of interesting. Um, there were like 800 dudes in there, so I've already sat through a very lengthy fight of uh, my archers just plinking away at uh, the defendants, defenders of the city, basically. So, uh, yeah, getting down to it, I figured this would be, you know, if, if there was going to be any point, this ought to be it, right? So, yeah. This uh, ought to be it. Also, uh, just other, other than that, you may think... Mobray may be new. Calradan may also be new. I'm not sure. Uh, I captured those ages ago, but they don't seem to be huge. So, uh, they're not mine. But I think that was in the last set. But... Um, yeah, every every single castle, like Harangoth has got like 500, uh, Seven Cross got 400 plus like two, three lords always in there. So every single castle is always super well defended and I just can't really siege them, which is a real pain in the ass. Same here, it's like 500 there and there's another 500 there. It's just nuts. Um, so yeah, Singal, let's, uh, let's go in. Siege it. Zero hours. And actually, maybe I ought to wait. But screw it. All I need to do is tell my archers to stand there, hold it, while I uh, stand back here with my shield. Because my archers ought to do all the work. Uh, the, the actual biggest problem, you know, sieging the city, 
has actually been the uh, Knights of Eventide, if you noticed. Because uh, they, you know, they're a knight order. They're super tough. They're really good units with really, really good shields. And, you know, you can see all the horn dudes up there. They're, they are strong. My archers can barely touch them, so... You know, you can see all... Oh, one knight of Eventide, or Eventide, has died now. It's one. It's only 80 to go. Which, uh, frankly, is probably going to take a while. Because uh, I'm not sending my troops up there. Uh, as long as my archers have arrows. Because I did that last time when every single archer was out of arrows, pretty much. And uh, lost a lot of dudes. Lost a lot of dudes. A lot being like 40. But uh, yeah, 40 elite troops is a bummer to lose. Yeah, the, 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 the funny thing is that they don't, you know, they don't have a ranged weapon. So, it is very lame, but you can just kind of stand there. Especially with, you know, the good troops that uh, Ravenstern has. Archer-wise. So yeah, you can kind of... Wow, that's hard to read there. Yeah, 60 death. 100 to go. It's basically really literally how I did it. I was actually doing this just tabbed out. Just uh, stood here. Went like that. Tabbed out of the game. And uh, yeah, just came back. Like, oh, wait. They're out of arrows now. That's, uh, well, let's send in the uh, my own knights. And they, uh, you know, they're very good as well. They're, pro they're just as good. Uh, just about. But um, yeah, they... Um, went, you know, even, pretty much, which is bad. They're very costly. <laughs> so, yeah, very slow. Very slow on the killing now. I also just hope that I'm right on the Nolder thing, because uh, I really want to, to see what you can do with them. Or what the uh, what they say about the the quest that they have. I know what the quest actually is by looking up uh, information, but uh... yeah, it ought to be interesting. It might also just be nigh on impossible for me, but uh, we'll see. Invisible wall right there. How those two archers over there got through, I have no clue. But uh, there is a wall there, as you can see them all running into it. <laughs> Trying to line up. So yeah, a lot of archers here already, just out of ammo. So what I'm going to do now is pretty much move them up a bit. Get some other archers up close because of that, probably. So yeah, you can see all the, the arrows are just getting into their shields. It's not really helping that much. But yeah, this this is definitely just part of the game. <laughs> it's not always exciting, which is uh, why I'm why I'm not always recording because that would be insane. Because you eventually do get to this point. Uh, you know, I might just eventually, once I uh, build up my forces a, a bit again, uh, and somehow manage to keep Singal, because I don't think that the Shar have that many forces. Um, and I still have to re reinforce Mistmire, because uh, it keeps getting sieged by Sarleon. But, um, yeah, I might just try and do the same thing with Sarleon, but they still have good archers, so... Uh, well, the Dashar do not. Well, they have some decent melee units, which also have missiles, basically. But it's nowhere near Sarleon's troops. Or Ravenstern's, obviously. So, arrows pretty much stopped, which is bad. So 60 more of them. 
I can't see where I'm placing the thing. Oh, run the hell up. Don't run up the ladder, though. All get close, all get up in there. Yes, all of you. All you archers who have arrows. That is good. I like to see that. Oh. Sounds like someone's still shooting. I totally forgot to switch out my crossbow. I, I was actually literally just uh, playing until I countered this moment. So I figured, you know, I should probably record something. It's a major city, so... Yeah, damn their armor. And their shields. Damn inaccuracy. <laughs> that was stupid. Hmm. Well, blinking away at them for sure. Yeah, those are Scorpio assassins, I think. They're throwing stuff. What are you? I wish to find out by murdering you. Which is uh, gonna take a while. Oh, he's just a bladesman. Okay. They kind of have the similar armor, so. Hmm. Alright. Eleven left. It is really, you know, cowardly to do it like this, but it is the most effective. Considering I know that uh, the faction, the Shar faction leader, Mansour Bey, is right outside the city, so uh, I need every single troop for when he counterattacks. Alright, you all move back. Let them move forward. Finish this off. <laughs> Lovely seeing uh, an Empire Legionnaire lead the charge. <laughs> and getting two kills. Three kills! Oh, I love those Empire Legionnaires. They're so good. I need more of them. Look at them! It's like five, six! It may be a different one, but I only saw one run up there. And there we go. Major city taken. <laughs> with one killed. Well, gonna live with that. He's an Empire Lord, I'd say. I gained honor for that. And the Empire likes me a bit more. Cool. Um... That is a lot of uh, stuff. Let's see. I'll take that. Empire Knights, alright. I'll take them. Hmm. That'll do. That'll do. Yeah, I can change them out, but it won't get me too much. All right, knightly kite shield. Cool. So I think pretty much everyone in my uh, party of my companions has. Uh, that doesn't look too bad. That is actually a pretty good sword. If it wasn't chipped. Oh yeah, I. Yeah, I was fighting before. <laughs> oh, inventory management. Damn it. think they'll do. Yeah, this is fighting for all the Deshar dudes. It'll do. It'll do. Yes, single fucking be awarded to me. Um, 
because he's going to be fucking pissed. The, uh, their uh, faction leader. In fact, because I'm pretty much the only Ravenstern Lord, it pr the, uh, the Sarleon Lords are actually just all only attacking my own villages, which is really stupid. Uh, on the game's part, not on their part, because why wouldn't they, but, uh... That is an interesting look. It is good, though. Is it 24,000 good, though? Um, I'll think about that in a second. Um, yeah, so basically, they're only going after me. They're not attacking anything else, which is really weird. It's like the other lords of Ravenstone just don't exist anymore. Surely that can't be right. He doesn't have more space. Hmm. He does have a lot of stuff. I don't... I think I like my... Uh, my immortal helm. Because it's silly. I don't like the look of that. It just doesn't seem right. Doesn't seem right. So yeah, pretty much low in food and stuff as well. There we go. I'll spend the rest buying food. Because I was pretty much out. So, perfect. Uh, tavern. Anything in here? Because I've literally never been in this city. Um, uh, yes, prisoners. Take these fucking lords. They stink. Um, I actually have like a hundred plus plus prisoners in uh, Yavik's home. It's just I keep gathering my uh, my slaves there, so. Alright, so that was pretty much it. I think my morale's alright, you know, with such battles won. Because, uh, you know, morale being a definite issue, you know, party size, is, that's, that, that's the number you're fighting with a big party like that. So yeah, Monster Bay, he's uh, hella pissed at me, I'm sure. I'm just going to wait here, see what happens. So I've basically reduced the Shar now to uh, a single town, as far as I can tell. Because they, uh, what actually happened, I, I told it wrong earlier on Saidu Sharif and uh, High Pass Fortress. High Pass Fortress just being a really cool fortress to have because of its location. I don't know. I just wanted it. Uh, Saidu Sharif came later. Um, so High Pass Fortress was a sphere of fame. Uh, Empire took it. I don't know why they took that when, you know, there was other stuff they could have taken, but uh, they took that. And then basically every lord of uh, of the Dushar, which were all sitting in Torba, just ran out, took it, barely. And then we were at war with them, so it was like, well, I was in this area. I don't know what I was doing here, considering there's generally nothing that useful. But uh, yeah, I saw that. I was like, well, I'll take High Pass Fortress then. Doing that, Empire, at war with them, came, sieged it. I uh, fought them off, which was hard. Uh, the Empire also then took uh, Saidu Sharif, which they kept for a long time. And since, you know, I kept going from Shadi Shahid, Nudar, you know, my two forward posts, basically, uh, to High Pass, I kept having to go by this massive fort of, uh, of Empire, so I eventually just went, well, I'll try and take it, which uh, was a very bloody battle, but uh, I managed to win eventually, so uh, that's kind of how that went. And that's uh, how the, the Shar suddenly had like one or two p places, and then they uh, now are reduced to a single city, which... Uh, I'm actually curious, how many how many lords do they still... No, that's not the right screen. Notes. Factions. 
how many lords do they still have? Just a couple. So I've got him prisoner, I've got him prisoner, and I've got him prisoner. So there's like, what, four lords left? I guess I can actually fight that off. That is uh, very interesting. <laughs> I thought they had more. I, I Okay, now I actually got to see, because I have not checked this stuff. Empire. Yes, big. Very big. Fjordsvein, even bigger. Cylon. They don't have a lot of lords, but uh, they're super wealthy. They're super wealthy. Hmm. How's the stability of... Uh... It doesn't say anything. Okay. King of Ravenstone is at war with Car... Yep, Cylon, indeed. Oh, we're to Truce. Gosh. <laughs> I hope this, uh, maybe I can now create my own faction. I wouldn't know what the fuck I'd be doing, but, you know, it, it it's it's a major feature in, in the mod, so. Um, yeah. I'd be interested. Ah. Uh. Medium sized at Nudar. That could be an army heading my way, but um, we'll see. You received a message. Oh, this might actually be it. Okay, let me. I gotta read this properly. You received a message from your monarch, King Gregory the Fourth. I was most pleased to hear. To hear of your valiant efforts in the capture of Singal. Your victory has gladdened all our hearts. You also requested me to give you ownership of the castle, but that is a favor which I fear I cannot grant, because clearly you are the only person who fought it and fought for it, and therefore I shall not give it to you. Um, as you already hold a significant estate, that I actually do, instead I have sent you 900 denars. As if... Uh, 900! That's nothing! Uh, you've been wronged. I have definitely been wronged. Renounce your oath to your liege. And I fucking pray that I can actually keep my fiefs. Because if this goes wrong, uh, and I'm going to start from nothing, then I don't know what I'm going to do. So I fucking pray... To something, to someone, somewhere, at some point in time, that this will go all right. Yes, renouncing your oath. I still got the nine hundred denars. Yeah, great. Um, it's a grave act, indeed it is. Your lord may condemn and confiscate your lands and holdings. However, if you return them, re return them of your own free will, he may let the betrayal go without a fight. Um, yeah, renounce your oath and rule your lands, including Singal, in your own name. That ought to be right. It's awarded to Eterna of the Kingdom of Ravenstern. That is not entirely correct. Uh, w wait, what? After consulting with the peers of the realm, Eterna has decided to confer Singal on Count Otto. Uh, okay. I okay. I uh, yeah. I literally have zero clue on how all this works. So bear with me. <laughs> uh, you now possess land in your name without being tied to any kingdom. This makes you a monarch in your own right, with your own with your court temporarily located at Javik's home. Perfect. Keep it there. Um, however, the other kings in Pandor will at first consider you a threat. For if any upstart warlord, for any upstart warlord, fuck that, I'm huge. I, I'm, I'm single-handedly what Ravenstern was. Um, for if any upstart warlord can grab a throne, then their own legis legitimacy, that, that's a really hard word to say for me at, 